Greetings everyone, Jimmy at e-autosports.com Today I'm going to show you how you can put together your AF Dynamic or KNN style intake I'm basically the guy who handles the returns too So I'm the one who put these together and sell it um, as a refurbished unit It's probably fair to say that I know what I'm doing and I've seen all you guys mistakes get to it and put one together so first of all the instruction may not be very clear i would always put the heat shield together before i even put these like sticky shields on it sometimes um it will overlap with these bolts here also this is the back side this is the front side okay so let's take that one popular model for uh, a dodge ram pretty bad shape um, normally you wouldn't have to cut any of these except for the ends um, this guy totally messed up so I guess that's why he returned it see if you cut it you leave like a ugly open ending here and if you don't cut it it just rolls around and nicely these black screws are for the heat shield hex screw rounded are 99% of the time for the um, for this right here these regular bolts are most of the time for the brackets do this a bolt a spring washer and a regular washer important information this always go like ever, like that not this way but this way this onto the heat shoe starting from here all the way to there unless there's a bend like over 90 degrees very very sharp otherwise you wouldn't need to cut any of these pro tip for the tight bands like here make a cut at the back of the trim and then you can just peel it like this and then do this it would be much easier to put on and much cleaner looking i do not advise you to cut all the way through because it will look bad here now here's how you put on this extra heat shield first you would peel off this like protective layer this square piece is always for the extra heat shield and don't mess up the direction the long end it is. And then you would take one of these and just go around. I was just starting from the back because it looks nicer. And you can take a cutter and just cut it. Last but not least, you will take one of these grommets provided and shove it into the intake pipe. And then you can insert your stock sensor to this port. And this is how you put together an AF Dynamic or KNN intake. Um, of course, I cannot show you how you actually put it onto your vehicle because every model is different. But that you can refer to your uh, menu. I hope you find this helpful and uh, if you need any help uh, installing onto any other model of Intech, you can just hit us up at e-autosports.com and we will be glad to help you out.